Hey, people of the webs, guess who it is? You know exactly who it is. It's the guy who's starting to break down all the rosters. He's doing an alright job. He's okay. He's not the best, not the worst, but I'm here. So, we're doing the Chiefs today. Right off the bat, I don't know these two guys. I was looking at them. I was like, damn, I don't know these guys. But, rookie. I like what I see when I see rookie. DB, 25. He has to step it up. Because they also got uh, DeAndre Baker, 24. So, this guy has to be better than DeAndre Baker. I know DeAndre has some off-the-field issues, but, <clears throat> you know, uh, Kansas City Chiefs kind of have some players. Everyone has some players like that. But if DeAndre play Baker could play good, keep him. If Zane Anderson could develop, keep him. He is a rookie, so he's cheap right now. So, yeah, they play pretty solid, I guess. I, I don't know. DeAndre Baker is, eh, the Giants let him go. I don't know. Whoop. Whoop, whoop, mulligan. All right. Okay, so next, Omar. I don't know. I'm sorry. I just, I don't know if he's just a new pickup because that jersey he's wearing. I don't know. But Blake Bell, he's pretty solid. <laughs> he's pretty good depth, but he's 30. I feel like you get different, get yourself better tight end, you know. 30 years old, move up, get younger. You also have Travis Kelsey, so Blake Bell is kind of, Maybe just a mentor type. Andrew Billings, I like him. Solid. I think he was on the Bengals for a while. I think that's what it was. I don't know. I like him. He's a solid dude. Five years in the league, 27. I like him. I think it's a good player to have on your team. Pretty solid depth, if anything. Um, Austin Blythe, my big, my big dog right here. I like this guy. He was on the Rams for a long time, and I like him. I'll bring my squibber back up. Uh, He's solid. I'm surprised he's 29. He kind of feels older to me, you know. I feel like he was on the Rams forever. <clears throat> but I like him. Kind of kind of sad he's on the Chiefs, coming from a Broncos fan. But I like him. Good dude. Nick Bolton, he's solid. Rookie, he's a good rookie pickup. I think that's probably a good draft pick. Yeah, which that sucks. That really sucks. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm kidding, but that... He's, I think he's pretty, probably pretty good. Pretty good. DiCaprio Boodle, I sadly do not know. I wish I knew the, I wish I wish knew these players. I got to know more players. I thought I knew a lot more. Cortez, Brownton, I don't know. But what I do say, what I can say, though, they like to get <clears throat> rookie DBs. I like that. They're trying to develop defensive backs. I like that. They got two rookie defensive backs, but are a little on the older side, but... You know, that's cool. I like that. Uh, defensive tackle, that's pretty good. Cortez, I like I like him. I maybe look at his stats sometimes. Who knows? <clears throat> Orlan, I don't want to go, like, in-depth, like, into one person singly right now, you know, because you don't know if they'll even be on the roster or their stats because sometime I'll go into each person's stats or something. That could be another video. But I don't know. Cortez, if he could... Play good. He's young. He's got time. Hopefully. Hopefully he plays good. I mean, actually, he's on the roster. Orlando Brown, I was so sad when the Ravens traded him away. But as a Chiefs, like, Chiefs fans are probably really happy. Like, Orlando Brown is solid. He's a really good tackle. He also seems like he's older, but he's 25. So he's, like, he could be there for at least five, six, seven years. Ten years if you want. That's amazing. Orlando Brown. Good dude. Shane, I don't even know Shane, quarterback. Don't even know him, sadly. <clears throat> Michael Byrne, if good blocker, right? I think he's a good blocker. If not, if I'm wrong and I think he's someone else, I think I might be thinking of someone else. But if he could block, keep him. If this dude could block, keep him. 30-year-old blocker, though. I don't know if he'll even be on the roster. 30-year-old fullback, that's scary. Matt Bushman, I don't know him, <clears throat> but he's a 26-year-old rookie. Ooh, he has an uphill battle for sure. Harrison Butker, uh, that guy. I hate, okay, I'm a Broncos fan, of course. That guy has a great freaking leg right there. <clears throat> I actually got his, 
I actually got to see him kick in person. And that was amazing. He he was good. He he kicked pretty good. Harrison Bucker's probably like, it goes probably like, in my eyes, it's like Justin Tucker, and then he's probably like second. So there's anybody else that's a better kicker. Maybe like Chris Boswell, but I don't think Chris Boswell in my eyes is better, but he's pretty he's pretty good. But I like <clears throat> I like Harrison. Uh Shaquille Calhoun. I wanna say I've heard of him. I probably have, but I can't like really like think of him, you know? He's not one of those familiar guys. He's twenty nine. I don't know, man. <clears throat> I don't know, I'm sorry. Frank Clark, though, this guy's a guy who only shows up in the playoffs. He's he's got that. Everybody knows that. Everybody's everybody watching here. We all know that. All right. Uh, sorry about the pause, real quick. All right. Sorry about the pause there for a second. I don't know what's going on there. But a uh, Frank Clark, as I was saying, this guy right here, he only shows up in the playoffs. He helps a lot in the playoffs. But in the regular season, you never hear his name. I I I hear his name a lot though. Like, kind of, barely. Like, I don't want to contradict myself here, but I hear his name kind of, like, you always hear his name, but it's, like, it's hard to, like, when you watch the Chiefs, like, I didn't hear his name at all. I watched the Chiefs in person, and I didn't hear his name once, I feel like. I didn't remember it at all, so. <clears throat> and it wasn't a playoff game, so. That's probably why I wasn't there. He probably saves himself for the playoffs because he knows their playoff team. That would be kind of smart. Save your body, bro, for when it matters. That actually kind of makes sense. That's a good strategy. I do not hate that. All right, hopefully that will be the last pause. But Brandon Danbridge, another rookie DB, another older rookie DB. Wild. I wonder if that works out. They did have a bad defense for a long time. They were, like, historically known for a bad defense, but they kind of stepped up. Oh, and speaking of defense, they got Justin Reed. That's cool. I don't know if he'll be on this list, so they got Justin Reed, and I think that's a good signing. They got rid of Tyron Matthew, I think. I forgot where he's going. And they got Justin Reed to replace Tyron Matthew, and I respect that. I mean, I like Justin Reed. And Tyron Matthew just threw his hands up in the air a lot. No, I'm sorry. But, no, I don't know. Fun, like, fun trade in a way. Let me, oh, no, it's not a trade, but fun, like, replace. You know what I mean? Like, get rid of Tyron, get Justin Reed. I like it. I like it. Okay. Another 24-year-old DN, Mike Dana. I don't know him. Respect. I like it. Young defensive end. I'm all about it. Okay. A 29-year-old receiver, though, I'm not about. Especially one I've never heard of. Yeah, when you have Nicole Hardman, Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey. Uh, the, 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 that's probably more. I can't really think about the top of my head. You don't need this guy. Practice squad, special teams. Go ahead. Austin Edwards. Mm, he, let's see. I don't think I know him. I wanted to say I know him, but I don't think I know him. He looks familiar, but no, I don't think I know him. Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Alrighty. He, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. No, I'm, I, I like him. If the Chiefs could get a better line, which they got a really good line, but they could stay healthy, I should say. If everybody stays healthy, Clyde could go off, and that sucks. Especially if the Broncos don't block this guy, I feel like maybe it could be bad. But I feel like the Broncos could block this guy. <laughs> so, but he's a good, he's a good back. It's a good back you got in the backfield there. Rashad Fenton, I like him. That's a good guy to have as a corner. He'll probably like, he's not, a, it's crazy. See, he's 25 and has been there for three years. The rookie up there is like 25. Mind blowing. I like Rashad Fenton. Everyone talks about Rashad Fenton. I feel like I can't say much more about that guy. He's a pretty good, pretty good corner. I don't know this guy. I don't know this guy. I don't know this guy. <laughs> They're all around the same age. All pass catchers. And Jordan Finks will throw him in there. All these same age pass catchers. You only probably need like one, if any. So they're probably either special teams, practice squad, 
any of that. So these four could just be lumped into like all that, you know, trade, get out, get rid of anything. Willie Gay, I like him, solid. He's a good dude to have as your linebacker. You could even have him as an end or a rush or whatever. Something, run stopper, whatever, man. This guy is solid. Solid dude. It kind of sucks as a Broncos fan looking through this because it's like, man, the Chiefs got a lot of good people that I like. <laughs> but Josh Gordon, another good dude. I didn't really hear much of him, I don't think. I got to look at his stats. This is one guy we're going to look at the stats for real quick. Uh, yeah, see, he only got five catches for 32 yards and a touchdown. Man, this guy, I've always liked this guy, and it sucks that the weed got him. But, you know, it happens. Rules, NFL was crazy. But I like this guy. If he could be out there, good signing. I don't really think you need Derek Gore here. You got Clyde, Ed Clyde Edwards-Hilaire. You could draft a running back. Derek Gore is probably expendable. He's only been there one year, but he's 27. Maybe get, keep him as a third. Someone gets injured, practice squad, keep him. I don't know. But I feel like he's replaceable. Noah Gray, that's that's a good, that's good. Hopefully he develops. I don't know anything about him. This guy maybe has to fight for a spot, of course. Everybody has to fight for a spot with Travis Kelsey there. McCole Hardman, he is really solid. He is fast. He is big play guy. He does good things when he's on the field. I don't know what else you could say about him. That hasn't been said, just like the other guy. Pretty good receiver. Only three years in. Wild. Darius Harris. I like his name. I do not know him. That sucks. Chad Henney, eh, 36. I'd let him go. Get a different backup. Learn from the Broncos. Get a good backup. The Broncos had horrible backups. And when we had our starter go down, boom, bad backups. Don't have Chad Henney. Even though he beat the Broncos. Look at this smug. No, I'm just kidding. All right, Malik Herring. I don't know this guy. Another good young. Uh, 24 is pretty young. DN rookie. I like it. Tyreek Hill, you can't really... Say much about him. It's Tyreek Hill. Who doesn't know Tyreek Hill? Fast guy. Touchdowns. Big dog. I root. I don't know if he deserves that. I root, but he's fast. Mike Hughes. I like him. I like Mike Hughes. He's pretty solid. Um, I think they do got some good corners, but I don't. I don't like how their rookies are twenty five and all that. Because if they're good, it's like they're already like going to be starting to slow down. I don't know. They are getting younger or some. At least a little. Just a tad in my opinion. You know? Creed Humphrey. Really good lineman. I guess maybe they do got a good line. <laughs> and I'm just I'm thinking of the old line or something in the Super Bowl. Uh when everyone is hurt. But it's a completely new line. I gotta remember that. Orlando Brown, Creed Humphrey. Pretty good pretty good lineman. That's kinda scary to think about. Uh Melvin Ingram. Is he even there? I don't know if Melvin Ingram's there. Huh. I want to say he's not there. This might be an old list. Hopefully it's not an old list. Da, da, da. Okay, Gary Jennings. I don't know. I know him, but I don't know if he played much on the Chiefs. Huh. What a trip. I don't know. I don't know, like, any of these guys right here. I like, they got, they, I like what they're doing in the trenches, though. That's good. Oh, I know Travis, of course. But it hasn't been said about this guy. He could do it all. Kyle Long, that's a really good signing. But he, I wish he wasn't 33, but I like him as a, as a sign. He'll probably be getting beat, though, soon now. This is, I think, an old roster. I really like Jarek McKinnon. Uh. Seeing Patrick Mahomes play in person, he he's pretty good. You can't say he's not good, so I don't know what else to say about him either. I feel like all these guys have already had everything said about him, so I'm kind of repeating, you know? But Tyron Matthew, I bet he'll be all right. He'll throw his hands up on the 
wherever your team got, wherever he signed. I think it was the Raiders. I think the Raiders were trying to sign him. So, hang on. Okay, all right, that skit didn't work out. I'm probably just going to cut that. All right, what y'all heard there was an introduction of a failed skit. <laughs> it was going to be like a phone call type thing, and I, I just cut it. Cut. Get that skit out of here. We're going to go back to football. That's what y'all are here for. So, Lorenzo Neal, I think it was right. No, 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 I think it was Jarek McKinnon. Jarek McKinnon was solid. He's a good pass catcher. He can he, I think. He's a little on the older side, but I like. I would like to have him on my backfield. Him and Clyde Edwards, pretty good duo. I mean, if he could upgrade, of course, upgrade. But I like him. Um, Lorenzo Neal, good rookie DT, I think. Maybe, maybe I don't. I, I'm thinking of another guy. I think maybe not. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Lucas Niang, I don't really know. Sadly. I want to say he's solid. He's probably pretty solid. Ben Neerman, I do not know. Do not know who Ben Neerman was. Derek Nadi, he, he's pretty good. They got a lot of good, solid pe people in their trench. Like I, I already said that. Sorry for repeating that, but it's just noticeable. Okay. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Okay, a lot of these people I do not know, and I really apologize. That really sucks. I hope they all are solid and have great things. Uh, this guy, 31, he's probably expendable. This guy, probably expendable. Uh, Take keep him. This guy, uh, 24 year old rookie, he's probably expendable. You have enough of them. Byron Pringle, he's probably expendable, even though I really like him. Probably expendable. Good dude. Good player. Good chip. Mike Rammers, and I don't know Jared Reed. Jared Reed is probably expendable. Mike Rammers, I like Mike Rammers. He's a guy you trade for in Madden because he knows he's an easy guy to trade for, and he'll be solid for a few years. Um, He's kind of like that for the Chiefs in real life. 32, they'll probably have to move on from him soon, of course. Demarcus Robinson, that was probably the guy I was trying to think of earlier. I was trying to think of the, the, like more people on the wide receiver court that were like dangerous. He's one of them. He's got another dangerous guy. He could get you. So that's like, that's kind of random why they got so many. I don't know. This guy, I do not know. Do not know this guy. Trey Smith. Good rookie. 6'6". Six, six, this guy looks like a baller on paper. Jerry Sneed. This guy is a pretty good corner. I actually I actually kind of like this guy. It kind of like... I'm glad we now have Russell Wilson as a, on the Broncos. Because that guy's a good defensive back. That guy's good. Daniel Sorsons, no one's scared of him. No one's scared of this guy. I hope you all find someone. If you if you think him and Justin Reed are going to do it, uh-uh. Get rid of Danny Man, Daniel Sorensen. I am 100% out on this guy. And he's 32. He gets burned. Burn him. No, I'm just kidding. Juan Thornhill is also a really good freaking guy, though. That's why... Why was he even, why was Daniel Sorensen even on the field? Alright, that's my question. Anybody by him, right? Yeah, sorry. I don't mean to lay into him. But I've seen some plays that made me laugh. Joe Tooney, I wish he didn't play. I mean, he was good on the Packers. I wish he didn't go to the Chiefs. I wish he stayed on the Packers. I kind of like the Packers. But now that he's there, he's, he is solid. I don't know what I was thinking earlier when I said they don't have a good line. They have a solid line now. Tommy Townsend, good punter. I like punter. Punter Townsend. I like him. Good dude. Like, look at that. That's like a if Trevor Lawrence was a punter. Sorry. Dominus. Sorry. Sorry. But, yeah. Okay. Mark Vital. Good rookie tight end. I don't know anything about him. I don't know Prince. I like his name. I don't know him. Javarius Ward, 
really good cornerback. Maybe not like really good in my eyes. I like him. Solid. That's a guy you want on your wa- roster. I think he bounced around a little bit. If I, I might be mistaken, but I want to say kind of bounced around a little bit. But then, he's doing pretty good on the Chiefs. I like that dude. Justin Watson. Do not know. Amari Watts. That's a good guy to have instead of Daniel Sorensen. Instead of Daniel Sorensen, why didn't Amari Watts play? And if he did, I'm sorry. Okay. They should have just got rid of Danny Sorensen. All right, I'm I'm not gonna lay into him anymore. <laughs> That's just just rude. Chad Williams, he's one of those guys who would have an uphill battle for sure. I use him in Madden as like when you're trying to have a team. I'm not basing this off of Madden, by the way. I actually watch real games, but I'm just relating it. But like he would always have a like a low overall. You know, he's like one of those guys that you're like, I'm gonna get Chad Williams to be my top receiver when he's like a seventy. You know, I don't know, because you always think of that. I don't know, because in real life he's he's all right. Daryl Williams, I like having him there. I'm glad they have a pretty good backfield. If they had to let one go, probably, probably Daryl Williams. Cause I like Jared McKinnon. McKinnon, I just, I just like him. He may be older, but if Daryl Williams trade him, get some picks. You know, that'd be dope. Daryl Williams, same thing. No, I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna say trade him, but I don't know. Maybe not. If you if they could actually all stay healthy, they have a really solid line and depth in my eyes. So that's good. Good solid DN and depth and trenches and stuff. Amazing. One thing they can use is corners. I feel like they need better corners, more named corners. Like I didn't even mention Chris Lamarons. Chris Lemons, I don't even know him. So I feel like in free agency they should tr- like, get a corner. Mike Hughes is solid, but maybe trade him, upgrade, or maybe just upgrade and keep him something. Um, they got Justin Reed as a free safety, so that's a good, good, solid one. And get someone else to catch the ball. You know, they got good ones, but, like, maybe, like, a... No, they got Travis Kelsey. Okay, retract that. I'm thinking of another team, I think, for a second. But they got a lot of good pass catchers. Tyra Kill, Mikol Tarman, Travis Kelsey, Demarcus Robinson, all that. It's hard to think of after talking for 20 minutes. But yeah, that, well, that's it. I like their trench. I like their line. I like their quarterback. I like their safety. But they need a freaking corner and linebackers. That's their biggest need, right? Corner and linebacker. And maybe a tight end once Travis Kelsey's gone because they don't have depth. That's wild. But I hope you all enjoyed, everybody. Sorry if this is a bit longer. It is the Chiefs, after all. <laughs> Love you all, everybody. Stay tuned for the next ones. Peace. Peace, peace, peace.